Therapy dogs are bringing relief to government workers from Capitol Hill to the State Department and USAID. Yeah, the dogs are on a mission to bring a bit of happiness during increasingly stressful times. Natalie Brand tagged along on one of the canine visits to get a look at these benefits. They travel to some of the most powerful, high-stress jobs in the nation's capital oh to deliver a needed pause. It's a super popular day whenever we get the notices. Therapy dogs from the nonprofit organization PAL provide cuddles, comfort, but most importantly, a bit of self-care. By taking care of themselves, I think they may be in a better place to do the work that they're doing. Sharon Forrance works at the Staff Care Service Center for the U.S. Agency for International Development. She says the dogs' twice-a-month visits have the added bonus of drawing people to her department. But it also allows us to talk about the programs that we have for all of the staff members here and and their family members. There's such a need, there's a big demand. Heather Gomes, executive director of PAL, says the pups and their volunteer handlers also visit the State Department weekly, as well as the U.S. Senate and Capitol Hill police officers on holidays. I think it helps alleviate burnout, for sure. We need to take a break. We can't be running on adrenaline all the time. Research has shown animal-assisted therapy can reduce anxiety, stress, and fatigue. Hello. Gretchen Burkle, who works in USAID's Bureau for the Middle East, brought her colleagues for a moment of calm. It's important to be able to step away just for a few minutes, kind of catch your breath, refocus a bit. She says they leave revived, renourished, and ready to get back to work. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.